All right, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a review on a quad, an ATV that I haven't ever done a video on. It is none other than the infamous, the legendary Suzuki LT500R Quadzilla. And uh, as you can see, I've been working on this little section of the garage that's got uh, a bunch of gems in it. And many of them you will recognize. I'll, I'll do a tour of that maybe later once I organize everything. But this uh, bike, this quad had been uh, sitting up on its rear grab bar for about four years. Uh, so I'm just kind of going in, cleaning the carb. And let's get a closer look at this beautiful beast. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Now, it is nestled next to the 86 250R. And the first thing you kind of realize is Wow, that front end is really wide. It's a, it's a very big, wide, uh, massive machine. And the reason it's so massive, well, the story of the Quadzilla is that if you remember back or you were around in 1987, uh, there was a new machine released that had done something nobody else in the ATV world had ever done. And that was put a 500cc two-stroke engine in a mass-produced ATV. Now, Honda had some sort of plans to do so, according to some insiders. There were some prototypes. I think some of the uh, factory riders had actually gotten to test ride it. But you got to remember, in 86, you had the consent decree. You had uh, the 20 minutes. Uh, segment going on in 85 86 on the dangers of the three-wheelers and so unfortunately as history would have it I mean the last ATC that we could really put our hands on from Honda that was performance was the 250R there's rumors of an 87 but you know at that point uh, it was pretty much over the writing was on the wall and we have some pictures of what might be an 87 here and there floating, but that was it. So here we have Suzuki coming in and deciding that they're going to do something pretty amazing. Now, don't freak out because there's no carb in this baby right now. But they're going to build a 500, let's see if that gets a little brighter here, 500cc two-stroke. And they're going to put it in an ATV. Now, I mean, that's just a massive engine right 499 cc's of power and that's basically what they did so you have this machine and if you're going to put that much power in something uh you're really not going to want to have it in a very narrow chassis i mean you're going to want it wide you're going to want it stable you're going to want to make sure that it can handle the amazing power of that engine and be a package that isn't going to flip over. I mean, so it's it's very wide, it's very stable, it's it's just huge uh, when you compare it to some of the other bikes. It's longer. Uh, the only other uh, ATV I have that's really that long is the Tri Z. The Tri Z is a very long machine, but this is the LT 500R. Um, this particular bike quad is a 1990, which was the last year they went from 87 to 1990. Uh, some of the differences is that the, uh, I believe, 89 and 90 went with white A-arms, as you can see. The 87s, if you are trying to figure out what you've got, uh, they had a wider A-arm. If you can see, it's like a, uh, almost like a square section, but rounded a bit. Uh, whereas in 80. 8, 89, and 90, or maybe it was 89 and 90, they went to more of this uh, rounded uh, A-arm at the top. So you also had a little bumper uh, pad here that I think they did away with in 89 um, and other things. And you also had black number plates right here uh, and some graphic changes. There's even a little difference. I think the 87, 88 are two color, uh, 500 stickers, and then the other uh, ones were three, which we see here. So I think 89 and 90 had three color. You can kind of see that the bottom here is the darkest and then it goes to a little bit lighter and then lighter. So uh, that three color blue. Now the other thing about these that I, I find to be pretty interesting is this is the only mass produced 
500 cc two stroke liquid cooled that Suzuki ever produced. A lot of people have corrected me and said, oh no, Suzuki had an RM500. They did, they did. 8384, they had an RM500. However, it was never liquid cooled. It was an air cooled engine. So uh, I've gotten into debates with this with people where they'll say, oh, you know, that's just the RM500 motor with liquid cooling on it. No, that is not true. Uh, the RM500 motor was air-cooled in totally different cases, um, and it also didn't have a counterbalancer. One of the things that Suzuki realized, and a lot of people see it when you put a 500cc engine in an ATV uh, from a dirt bike, you get a lot of vibration. So Suzuki built in a counterbalancer in this engine. So engine is counterbalanced. The engine uh, is smooth. It's torquey. It's liquid cooled. Uh, it's pretty much built exclusively for this quad. And a lot of people would take that engine. Uh, I know uh, Dr. Q has done it and take the 500 engine and put it in a 250 quad chassis. So uh, it, this is it. So what I'm going to be doing with it is I'm doing some carb cleaning because she's been sitting for a while. Um, she didn't start last night because you know the carb is really dirty. So I'm I'm cleaning the carb, and then what I'm going to do is uh, pretty much bleed the brakes, get a little bit of air in the line, and then we're going to keep her down here and run her every once in a while just so she can uh, you know start up and get a little action and keep everything in good shape. So if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. I'll be doing kind of something a little bit more. Um, detailed outside with some lighting maybe starting it up showing you a little more of the details of the bike but uh, if you enjoy it or you like two strokes big bores uh, right next to the 500 we've got a ktm uh, 440 with a 500 uh, placards on it we've got a ktm 500 ktm 550 back there we've got a lot of atcs a lot of things kind of all uh, jumbled together here i'm doing a little bit of work the 350s are in the uh, storage We've got a mint, absolutely mint 200 axe just kind of sitting back there, wondering why she's not the uh, uh, primary focus of the video. We've got the 84 250R, which is running flawlessly now. 86 is just ripping, absolutely crazy machine. I've been having fun with this. Uh, found this headlight guard uh, up in the attic that's a Honda line, got it repainted, and uh, it just looks awesome. So yeah, we're working on the bikes, having fun. And uh, hit like and subscribe. I'll be doing some more stuff on this if you enjoy uh, these bikes or anything related to vintage uh, ATVs.